All right, this is my quick and easy method for a convertible backpack with your handbag. So you're gonna need two more pieces of four inch webbing, two one inch D-rings, and one one and a half inch D-ring. So you're gonna prep your, these two D-rings, the one inch ones like you did with the handbag. So you're gonna go ahead, just fold those in half. And then we're gonna stitch them, same way. And then I cut a piece of waterproof canvas, four inches tall by three inches wide. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold that into the center. So um, yeah, I'm not going fancy here because nobody's gonna see the inside. So basically what I do is I'll fold it over the center in the middle there. And then I overlap it just a little bit and then I'm gonna zigzag stitch down the center because you know how much I like my zigzags. But yeah, make sure this piece, you know, is one and a half inches wide. All right, so let's take this to the machine. And then I'm just gonna go straight across. And then down the side. And then I'm gonna go to the center. This is what she's looking like. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our larger D-ring. Go ahead and just close that in place. And then we're gonna sew a stitch here along with the rest of our D-rings. These are our finished connected pieces. So what you're gonna do is take your coffin handbag, one of the panels, and I would suggest measuring up two inches mm -hmm. from the bottom. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your D-ring, measure two inches from the bottom, and I'm gonna actually put it on a diagonal. So I'm gonna put it right about there, like that's a good spot. So take that off, go ahead and clip that in place. I'm gonna do that off camera because the camera's right in front of my face and I can't exactly do this. All right, so there's my piece, right? Go ahead and measure two inches on this side. Just go ahead and, you know, make sure that they're even-ish, which mine isn't, so, you know, I can adjust it a little bit. It's fine. But yeah, that looks pretty even to me. With our larger D-ring piece, I'm just going to put this in the center, and you want it to overlap, okay? Just do it. And if you're worried about how this is going to be with the binding, you'll be fine, I promise. You'll just fold it over later like when you do your other part and you do the binding we're just gonna fold this over and then do the binding over it but yeah but put the piece on the back before you baste it because you don't want to do the work twice and then i'm going to show you what it looks like with a strap okay so here's that other bag that i was telling you about that has them so um got my little d-rings here and i have the big one up here so basically what you're gonna do is you're going to take the existing strap that you have from your coffin handbag and what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip it here and then you're going to weave it through and stick it on the other side and then I'm going to take a picture real quick real awkward like so that I can show you what it looks like as a backpack and this is her on she cute right 
All right, so quick and easy. Like, I don't even bother cutting out this piece because, like, I don't want to do that. So I just cut out the one, and then I cut out a piece a little bit bigger, slap that baby on top, and then sew here with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Or you could do what I do because that's just going to be a regular slip pocket, okay? If you want to add your zipper to that, you can do that. So what I'm going to do is take my double-sided tape, and I'm just going to pull that off. And then you're just gonna do your zipper sandwich. So this goes on this side, right sides. I'm not gonna put the zipper on right now because I don't want to. You don't have to use double side tape. You can use, you know, clips, pins, whatever, but I'm just doing this because it's there. <clears throat> That's done, right? So go ahead, flip that over. And then you're gonna sew that with that quarter of an inch seam allowance. So let's get to it. Again, we're just doing that quarter of an inch. All right, so here's how she's looking. Um, go ahead and trim just the top excess. So we're gonna flip this open. Press these seams flat, and then we're gonna top stitch. And then we're just gonna stitch about an eighth of an inch next to that seam. And I'm gonna do a double stitch because that's what I'm doing on this bag. So don't fucking say shit to me. People like to comment on my videos, but like, they're not the same, the stitching's different. Shut the fuck up, it's an aesthetic. suggest basting these before you cut anything because sometimes that shit is just going wonky and then your shit is going to be honest. So I'm going to go ahead and baste that before I baste it to my coffin piece. Hey Luke's. Yeah, but I'm keeping it. <laughs> I guess it's just better. Yeah. It's original. Yeah. And my my group hasn't heard Luke's in a while. All right. There she is. Go ahead and trim those. And we'll be right back. Don't forget to add your zipper. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to place this down here first. So I'm going to go ahead and pin that all together real quick or clip it, whatever. Do not trim these right now. Wait till later. <laughs> all right. So make sure, you know, everything's lined up. You don't want any weird, you know, Hookers. You want everything to be laying flat. Make sure that your piece is big enough. Yada yada. So here I have my pieces clipped together. Um, as you can see, everything lines up. Nothing's hanging over. So what I like to do is put some double-sided tape on the top. And I'm just going to fold that over. Not a lot. Just, just a little bit. So what we're going to do is fold that over. I like my zipper to lay kind of flat not you know up if that makes sense just because i i like my zipper tapes they're pretty so and i want to show them off so why the fuck not all right so that's down so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna unclip everything and i'm gonna flip this over 
gently, you know, you don't want to lose <laughs> what you got there. Let's just go ahead and make sure everything is secured and I'm just going to clip it just in case. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to sew about halfway that quarter of an inch mark there. So I'm going to do a quarter of an inch, make sure that you move the zipper out of the way as you're moving. So I'm going to do a regular straight stitch with that quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to go and do a zigzag stitch over the bottom so that this doesn't come loose. Yeah. Don't forget to move that zipper around the way. Hopefully I didn't move my thing too much. <laughs> Make sure that, you know, when you go to do your zipper like that, make sure that your needle is all the way down into the fabric. Otherwise, <laughs> test it, find out. All right, so I went ahead and did that straight stitch. So now I'm just gonna go down the side and then come back up with that zigzag stitch. I'm gonna go throw enough change that to a zigzag and then I'm just gonna zigzag shrink past that line you can hand crank it if you want or just let it ride as long as you you know catch that edge so that it doesn't like pick up you're good trust these right away all right I'm gonna take off and I'm gonna tie off those ends cash look all right, so got my stuff here, got my pocket. So when we're looking at it this way, this is what it's like gonna look like from the inside. I just really like the zigzag over it. Cause you know, when you buy one from the store, they don't be covering that shit. They just leave it raw. So have fun with it. And don't let anybody tell you that it's unprofessional. Anyway, <laughs> flip it back over and you know line everything back up put your clips on nope. you know make sure that everybody everything is even where it's supposed to sit and then i'm going to flip it over and i, I just want to make sure that the tip of the pocket here is with the tip of the coffin and then i'm going to go ahead and clip there And then what you're gonna do, I'm gonna press this first cause you know, it's all wrinkled and shit, but <laughs> I'm gonna press this and then I'm going to baste the back panel on there. Now that we've got that on there, just turn that over. You see these overlapping spots. We're just gonna leave that for now until we do the next part. But anything like on this side that's hanging over, just go ahead and trim that yeah. so that the back portion is even. So now I am going to take my lining piece, which is just a piece of waterproof canvas. See, I can't just talk out of my ass. Like, it just doesn't come out right. I end up saying words wrong, and I don't like it. Anyway, put these wrong sides together. So let me remove my clips so I don't accidentally sew them in there. Keep that even. And then what I'm going to do is just line everything up. Flip that over which this piece is a little small, which is fine. Maybe, maybe not. Why is this one so big? I think we got an uh-oh on our hands. This is what I mean by uh-oh. I paid somebody to cut these out for me. And look at this. Look at that. You see, it's not fucking even. That's annoying. All right, the other one works, so we're gonna we're gonna use that one and uh, make a new fucking piece. All right, again, so you're gonna put those wrong sides together. All right, once you have everything, you know, clipped, pinned, whatever you're doing, I don't have enough fucking clips. 
make sure it's even, you know, not like mine. All right, so I've got my pieces clipped. This is the back. This little sliver obviously didn't fit, um, but since it's in that, you know, quarter of an inch seam allowance, I'll allow it. Um, so just go ahead and uh, baste all the way around. When you get to the zipper, you will fucking need a hump jumper. Like, I don't know what kind of machine you got, but like mine doesn't just magically jump over shit. So I'm using a hump jumper. And then I'm just gonna go slow, because, you know, mistakes. Usually that thing decides to launch itself to the clip graveyard, but today it didn't, so we are lucky. Those are So I want, I also want this to like stay as closed as possible. So I'm kind of just going to like squish it together and, <laughs> and move it, you know, it's not the most safe way to do things, but it's the way I'm doing it. And um, you shouldn't need a hump jumper to come the reverse way because you're not going over it. Well, you're not going under it either. It's like you're gliding over it, so it's not needed in this situation. So there she is. The pocket is gorgeous. You know. Or you can just do the slip pocket, you know, and then stitch it on there. But that's that. And I would suggest, you know, leaving this in the center so it stays out of your way. But... But yeah, make your fucking pockets and have a nice day.